Okay, so welcome back. This is part 18 of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. And in part 17, uh, I did what I was gonna. I said I was gonna do. I added in the JavaScript, the JavaScript awesomeness, the JavaScript cosmetics to our uh, status login area. And I'm actually on the live site right here because I've already FTP'd the files uh, to save a little bit of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the local version. Um, so you can see it's giving us our uh, username and password values displayed inside of our boxes and when you enter in the username box it changes the text color from that uh, dark grayish color to the normal black and if there's nothing inside of the box and you leave it it automatically changes it back to username uh, it does the exact same thing for password except by default the type is set to text and you know passwords you want to have it as a password uh, but the awesome thing about this is it does it changes it to password uh, so it's very very nice very handy very awesome uh, so uh, the script right here this from everything from this value attribute to the style attribute right here all of that is what I added um, it's the same you can go ahead and pause the video and get it or download the source code it's the same for the username and password box except uh, the username and password strings I guess are interchangeable between the boxes according to their own name um, now the top page you have to add in this line of code at the top of the page just put it right below the uh, main style sheet import um, and what that's going to do is it's a generic import JavaScript file JavaScript code file uh, so right there it's my JavaScript file that's inside of the scripts folder so just simple and this is the JavaScript file it's actually a little bit different from the last video um, you can go ahead and try to pause it and try to get the code or you can just download the source code um, and I also uh, set the size for all three boxes on the activate page I set the size to 35 so yeah and on the status page I added in a log out link uh, in the echo so it's a lot to take in not very much ex explanation but I have already explained this JavaScript in another video uh, so yeah so what I'm gonna do is to show you that the uh, <coughs> that the uh, our, our box here does change after we log in so you can see you've been logged in as basic Nick if I redirect you can see right there instead of showing that form since we're logged in it shows our username and the logout link so if we go ahead and click the logout link we've been logged out and now it shows the form again since there's no user logged in so there we go um, so that pretty much ends this video and the entire user registration email activation and user login process processes I guess processes processes I don't know um, so what we're going to start doing in the next video is we're going to add a little bit of content to the site. Now, since people have already registered on basicnick.com, that's awesome. Thanks, you guys. Uh, I think it's seven or so people that have already registered. Not very many, but still, someone's already re people have already registered. It's pretty awesome. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to display the latest users that have registered. Um, so on our homepage here, we're going to have a little area that's going to display the latest users that have registered uh, I haven't decided if we're going to show their avatar because I don't know if anyone's actually put an avatar on yet or we if we will just uh, display their name and then go on from there whatever uh, so yeah this ends part 18 and uh, a new source code will be available uh, for uh, part 1 through 18 so everything up to now um, so yeah, thanks for watching.